Hey, you guys are officially awesome. Thanks for that. Um, I didn't get the red and black memo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or is it just that I like to stand out? I'm not sure. I'm never sure. So, did you guys all go to the parade? Did you have a lot of fun? Did you do lots of pride events? Yeah. yeah. Are you feeling all proud, ready to wrap it up and move on with your year for the next big pride moment? All right. So this year's theme of pride is one of the favorite themes I've ever seen them use, which is one pride, many voices. And I think it's so beautiful and eloquent. It says so much more than the words would indicate. Now, we have, I haven't seen most of you guys since last year at this time, right? Most of you. This is, for a lot of you, this is the only time I ever see you. So <laughs> nice to see you again. Now, when we met last year, you'll probably remember our pride was mixed with mourning. The Orlando attack ripped through our celebration, a painful wound that we still feel. It underlined why we mark this time of year as being important to us. I mean, sure, pride is all about joy, our joy, but our pain is never far from the surface. Orlando brought that home in a galvanizing way. So in, um, in Broad on Broadway, they actually gathered a whole bunch of Broadway superstars together to do something called Broadway Cares as a fundraiser to raise money for the victims of Orlando and the people left behind. So um, we gathered and raised our voices in song. And that simple act always makes the air around us just a little bit brighter because the songs always reach through the grief. They always have. And whatever it is that a song touches in your heart, that never goes away. So this year, the concert is all about love. Oh, what?